Hi everyone, welcome back to another video, another skincare video. Today we are going to be talking about sunscreen, of course. I do review a lot of sunscreens on my channel. There is a purpose behind it because protecting your skin from the sun is probably one of the most important steps of a skincare routine. So make sure to not to neglect it. Today, I like to talk about sun balm sunscreens, specifically designed for the face. Take a look how many of them I have in front of me. Obviously, this tells this is going to be a positive review video. This is not sponsored, just put it out there. You guys know that I don't make sponsored videos. One thing that really caught my attention before I purchased so many of them, this actually does not contain octinoxate and also oxybenzone, which harm the riff. Those are, I believe, two sunscreen filters that harm the riff, and this has four sunscreens, four chemical sunscreens, and they are evobenzone, homosalate, octisalate, and octacrylene. So those are the sunscreen filters that's going to protect your skin from the sun. And this is SPF 50, obviously, and this is water resistant 80 minutes. This is lightweight, oil free. Oh my goodness, if you do have concern with oil, if you have oily skin, you know, some people tend to get uh, irritation from like oil infused products if they have oily skin. I personally don't have oily skin, but if you have oil issues, <laughs> then this is a good one because it is oil free and they also say it is fragrance free oh my goodness not many sunscreens out there are fragrance free i have to say that guys it's so hard to find fragrance free sunscreens there was a body sunscreen that i have tried from sunbum that was designed i believe it's like the, the same packaging but it's just designed for the body obviously bigger bottle but that one had so much fragrance in it i actually ended up returning it because i was going to make a review about face and also the body version of it but i just could not handle how strong the fragrance was so i do not recommend the particular um, body sunscreen that i'm talking about i will put the picture right here for you guys so that way you avoid using it because i remember when i went to the gym i just remember like smelling fragrance you know from my like when i'm sweating i'm smelling sunscreen fragrance that's the last thing that you want to do when you're sweating when you're you know breathing a lot that's the last thing that you want to do smelling heavy fragrance so anyway moving on this is also breakout free this is dermatologist tested gluten free and vegan when they say breakout free i highly highly agree with that because i personally have not seen any irritation any breakouts after using this product how much i am obsessed about this product guys i just cannot put it in words i love it i love it i have one as a backup and i have one in my gym bag i always keep one in my gym bag because after i sweat i go outside so before going outside i make sure to put it you know to put on sunscreen on my face and uh, i of course use one on my desk before i put on my makeup i have so many sunscreens i have so many sunscreens i have reviewed so many of them on my channel you guys know that i usually collect all of them or i make a review about you know each one of them depending on which really catches my attention um you know i have tried so many sunscreens but this is the one that i always go back to it's just it's incredible guys it's amazing it's uh, affordable at the same time i believe it's about 12.99 if you have a dry skin if you have oily skin i think the consistency is incredible it is one of the lightest feeling sunscreens that i have tried on my skin obviously it's a chemical sunscreen so it tends to not to leave a white cast as much as the physical ones and i love the fact that it you know it feels extremely lightweight it doesn't feel like you're wearing you know something on the face you know i have actually used the coat sunscreens before i love them as well but the only thing that i was not a fan of they just stayed wet on my skin they never completely dried or settled on the skin uh, if you don't know which one i'm talking about i will again put the pictures right here for you guys and uh, they are really good physical sunscreens it's just that was my concern you know it just felt like i was still 
feeling the sunscreen on my face but other than that they are a good one in case uh, you're looking for the physical good quality sunscreens they are a really good option i will leave them um, down below in the description box the link of them in case you want to purchase them but if you don't mind about using chemical sunscreens i personally don't because i don't want to get breakouts or irritation on the skin and i don't want to feel uncomfortable when i wear a sunscreen you know i want to protect my skin but at the same time i don't want to feel greasy oily like you know disgusted <laughs> Talking about the ingredients, there are some uh, thinning ingredients that they have used in order you know, to make the consistency you know, easy to apply on the skin. As you guys can see, it's extremely liquidy and I love it. I love how lightweight that is. You, know, you don't have to like, wear thick sunscreen if you want to protect your skin well. There are good options out there, especially when it comes to the face. The performance wise, really good guys on a regular basis and you just want to throw on sunscreen this is the best highly recommend it oh my goodness sun pump did a really good job for their face sunscreens not a fan of the body one again i have not necessarily tried the physical one yet i will definitely in the future if you have tried it let me know how you like the physical face sunscreen or if you have tried any other sunscreens from sun bomb let me know in the comment below i believe they have the zinc uh, sunscreen as well that's like in a tub and is there any other suggestions that you have when it comes to sunscreens you know leave all of your feedback so others can benefit from your feedback and yes guys i think this completes my video hopefully you found it useful and enjoyable at the same time if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe i'm gonna leave you alone now have a great day enjoy whatever that you're doing and i'm gonna see you in the next one have a great day guys bye